I've used floor seam binder to separate two horizontal wallpaper patterns. I also use the floor seam binder in my hallway. It also gives a very rich look there. Here's the floor seam binder. It's a very rich look because it's a metal. What I'm using for this job is floor seam binder, which is flat. I'm not using carpet trim, which is bent. Once I've determined height by hanging the floor seam binder with wall safe tape from Scotch, I then nail some brads in about every two feet. I then use some mounting tape on the back of the floor seam binder and I lay it to this side of the groove and I cut it so that the entire piece of mounting tape will fit in the groove. That way it'll lay flat on the wall. I used a level to get the floor seam binder straight on the wall. Now that I've got the brads in the wall, I can remove the floor seam binder, place the mounting tape in the grooves. If the wallpaper is not properly adhered, I'm going to remove a section of the wallpaper, maybe a half inch or so, to give the mounting tape something solid to grasp. Using the nails as a guide, I cut approximately a half inch off of the wallpaper and then uh, Put it back on the wall using the brads and then remove the brads at the end. I cut the corners at a 45 degree angle in my miter box. There are a number of companies that make uh, clear mounting tape. So put a one inch piece between every hole. Instead of the gold look, I sprayed it with a little tan paint to tone it down a little bit. 